Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a great day. I am beyond stoked to share this new product with you. I haven't been this excited about a product in quite some time. It's an absolutely awesome product for Octane called Pixel Plus Dirt Rig. And it's a way to quickly add complex dirt and grunge and worn out looks to your materials. Uh, you can also add patterns and stickers. And the best part is that it takes a lot of very complex mixed materials and noises and shaders and layers. It takes everything and puts it into a really clean, easy to use interface. I'm teaming up with a guy named Cedric Henry from France who made this and he runs the Pixel Network. So I'm very excited to work with him and get this product out to you guys. So once you download it, what you're gonna get is a folder called Pixel Plus Dirt. There's a few different things in here and this whole folder needs to go into your scripts folder. So an easy way to find that is just go to Cinema 40, go to Edit Preferences and then in your Preferences panel, we have a Open Preferences Folder button. Just go to Library and then go to scripts and dump that whole folder into here and then restart Cinema 4D. Then once you open Cinema 4D, you can right click up here, go to customize palettes, type in PXL and we'll have our little icon here and you can drag it up. I already dragged one up here, um, but here's our little icon to run the script. So let's go ahead and click it to run it. And we have a new null here and under the pixel plus dirt tab, we have all of the data that we need. So the first thing that we're gonna do is make a new material you can put any material you want, even anything from your library. We're just going to make this gray, maybe increase the roughness and increase the index just for a little bit of a metal look and we'll put that on our skull. So now we have this material on our skull. Let's go back to our pixel plus dirt null and we have an objects to dirty slot here. So we're gonna drag our skull into here and right away it makes a mixed material. Then we also have a clean material slot. So we need to drag that new material we just made into that slot. And now everything is ready to roll with the exception of one little thing that you need to do. Uh, you can see that it generated a mixed material, but we also have our original material on here still. So the dirt is not gonna show up. So we need to either delete this or take our mixed material and drag it to the right side so it's on top. So make sure your mixed material is on the right side and then we should be good to go. So Pixel Plus Dirt has five different options. You can check them all on and you can use as many as you want and layer them on top of each other. Um, so I'm just gonna go through these and show you what they all do. So low coat, you'll notice if we check it on, we get a new tab. So that's the same with any of these. If we check it on, we get new tabs to go into the further settings. So let's just go into the low coat settings and check it out. You can already see that we have some grunge on our skull just by default by turning that low coat on. And now it's just a matter of playing with certain parameters like the power and the amount. So if we kick up the amount, we're getting a lot more grunge on here and the power, we can drop that down if we want the opacity to go down a little bit. Um, we also have details, so if we drop that down, we're gonna get more of a blotchy look, and the further we increase that, the more detail we're going to get. Um, there's quite a few other settings as well you can play with. You can play with even the material specular and roughness and index. Another thing you can do is play with the color. So we have the option of increasing the brightness, so we can do that, and then we're going to get that orange color coming through. We can also play with the saturation. And then if we wanna dial this back down, the amount, now we can do something like a rust, something like that. So we could pretend that's rust, and now we can go back to our pixel plus dirt and play around with some other settings. So that's low coat. You can also do a high coat. So a high coat's just gonna add another layer of grunge. So it's basically the same parameters, but you can just layer them up and add some more, which is going to be really nice. So now we have two layers of grunge. And then we also have scratch. So this is another layer of grunge, but it's a little bit more detailed. So in our scratch slot, we have a scratch material and we're going to just throw in something black so we can see it really easily. So we'll just throw in a black material and then play with the settings. So we have edge, body, and leaks. Edges is just going to put dirt on the edges. So if we increase the power, you can start to see it, but we can twirl down edges and increase the radius and we'll start to introduce a little bit more. We can also play with the amount and dial it in. So now we're getting dirt, but it's more focused on the edges and the crevices, sort of like a dirty ambient occlusion. Um, if we wanna do body, that's another layer of grunge that we can introduce. Um, so we can add some little specks. We can also go into the body and add more. So you can see that we're just layering a lot of different pieces of grunge on top of each other. It's really easy to do. 
And if you want to do streaks that are not just blotches but streaks, you can do this one. It's called leaks. And if we increase the radius and the amount, you can see that we're starting to get some streaks up to down. You can also go down to the transform parameter on any of these, and that's going to allow you to play with the size and the rotation. So if we wanted to rotate these leaks, we could have them at an angle or whatever. You always have the option to do that under transform. All right, so now we could check on the other two, just see what it's looking like. You can see that we're getting some really nice grungy looks. So let's say that we wanted to add a sticker to this. And a sticker can be any image you want to put on here. So let's turn on sticker one and twirl it down. We have a slot for a sticker. So I'm just going to type that in here and see if I have anything cool. So we could put a warning label on here maybe. And you can see that it's very small right now. So we can twirl down the transform and kick that up a little bit. And we could have it set to repeat. So we get some really interesting looks here. We can play around with the transform. Now, here's a really cool feature about the sticker. You can turn on sticker dirt, and it's going to start grunging up the sticker as well. So we can play with the amount that the dirt is going to start poking through this sticker, and we can also play with the details. So pretty much any parameter, we can grunge the heck out of it. So that's really, really cool. So that is the sticker parameter. Another thing we can do is add patterns. So if we add the pattern and go into the tab, we have a bunch of different shapes that we can pick from, and we also have a resolution. These are all procedural, um, so you can increase the resolution quite a bit. So let's kick up the height so we can see this a little bit better, and let's maybe play with the scale. It's pretty subtle right now, so we'll maybe kick the scale up a little bit. We're starting to be able to see the pattern coming through here. All right. So this is hexagon. We can also play with any of these other ones. You can play with circle and get some really cool patterns on here. Another thing you can do is randomize the patterns by using pattern dirt. So if we check that on, we get some more parameters and we also can see that this pattern is sort of breaking itself up and you can play around with the amount and the power of that as well. So that is pattern, a ton of different options you can play with in here. And that is all five of the checkmark options you have. So when you're done, you could layer them all on top of each other. Just kind of see what it looks like. This sticker looks like it's way too strong. So we could go and turn the power down or we could just turn the sticker off if we're not liking that anymore. So as you can see, it's an incredibly fast way to layer up multiple different layers of grunge and color and patterns and textures and it's all in one really easy to use interface. So one last thing that we can check into is utilities and we have some kind of overall settings. So if we want to default the settings, we could go back to default. We could click get clean, which is going to turn everything off. Get dirt is going to turn everything back on and then default settings, we'll set it back to default. So that's under utilities. We also have setup if you want to kind of dive into the details. If we turn that on, um, we're going to have a setup tab and we can click on visibility and object manager and then it's going to reveal some of the uh, kind of hidden features of this. We can also unlock them if you want to play around with them, but you can see just how complex uh, a setup this is. We got a bunch of espresso going on here. We got a bunch of mixed materials that it's set up. So I generally try to not look in there. It kind of gives me a headache. So anyway, that's how you would see all that stuff if you wanted to. That is Pixel Plus Dirt Rig for Octane. I hope you guys love it. I think it's going to save you a lot of time and I think you're going to have a lot of fun playing with it. So thank you as always for checking out the Pixel app and supporting what we're doing here. I really do appreciate it and we'll talk to you next time. Yeah. The Excel plus dirt is a little espresso setup for Cinema 4D and Hawk and Render to help you quickly and procedurally give life to your materials. Sweet you, man, who out helps off, you might be able to be